shalt see me, and thou shalt see me, and thou shalt see me, and thou shalt see me. Good morning, Mr. Shakespeare. Thank you very much for the quilt. Thank you. <laughs> That's a secret. <laughs> In a fanfare, and Mr. Shakespeare will join Oliver, the head boy, of the Edward School, and hand over the quill, at which moment, I'm sure, Mr. Jeffrey, he will share that. Mr. Shakespeare, now on the dais. Let's hear it for Mr. Shakespeare! <laughs> the Queen yesterday, who was 91. And now the town's beadle, Emma Davis, and visiting town criers from Henley and Arden and Shipston are going to lead us in a very special moment. Three cheers for William Shakespeare, man of Stratford. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, Don't I, won't tell this I won't sound this great. No. <laughs> yes, you certainly can. Okay. Thank you very much.
Well, it's been a lovely day. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. A lot of people here today. It's been a wonderful day. It has. It's been excellent. Fear no more the heat of the sun, nor the furious winter's rages. Thou thy worldly task has done, home art gone, and taken thy wages. Golden lads and girls all must, as chimney sweepers, come to dust. Fear no more the frown of the great, thou art past the tyrant's stroke. Care no more to clothe and eat, to thee the reed is, as the oak, the scepter, learning, physic, must all follow this, and come to dust. Fear no more the lightning flash, nor the all-dreaded thunderstone. Fear not slander, since you're rash, thou hast finished joy and moan. All lovers young, all lovers must consign to thee, and come to dust. No exorciser harm thee, nor no witchcraft charm thee. Ghost unlaid forbear thee, nothing ill come near thee. Quiet consummation have, and renowned be thy grave. <laughs>